Welcome to this example Solid Mastermind training video for Solid Edge with Synchronous Technology. Solid Mastermind is the complete online solution for all of your Solid Edge training needs and support questions. In the following few minutes, you will see some very short examples of the Synchronous Technology update training material. The complete series of training material is available to members of Solid Mastermind. This first preview is part of the first sketching session which covers the new way that sketches are created and manipulated within a synchronous model. Here we have a model which contains some existing 3D geometry. Notice that if we select a sketching command, as we move over the planar faces on the model they highlight, indicating that if we click the left mouse button to initiate the sketch command, a sketch will be created coincident with the highlighted face. Once again, if the command is reset with the right mouse button or a new command is selected, you can go ahead and choose another face to sketch on. This type of sketching workflow is called implied plane locking, in that we imply the plane or face we're going to sketch on simply by positioning the mouse appropriately. Another method available is explicit plane locking. This allows us to define and set a sketch plane which can then be used for multiple commands. Notice that as you drag your cursor onto a face, a small lock symbol appears. If you left click on this before starting your sketch, you will lock to that plane. Look out for the lock symbol that then appears in the top right hand corner of the graphics area. This shows when you are explicitly locked into a plane. Notice that as we draw this new sketch, since we're locked to the top face, no other faces can be selected and all sketch elements are projected onto the top face, even if we reset or change commands. Another method of defining this plane is to hit the F3 key on your keyboard whilst you're hovering over the desired face. To unlock the sketch plane, simply left click on the symbol in the top right hand corner of the graphics area or hit the F3 key again. When defining the sketch plane, notice that one of the edges of the model is highlighted in green. This edge will be used as the x-axis for the sketch and our horizontal and vertical relations will be associated with this edge. If we would like to define a different edge as our x-axis reference, we can use the N or B keys to find the next or previous edge. Notice how as we toggle around the different edges on this top face, the crosshairs align with whichever edge is highlighted. Here we have locked to the same face as before but used a different edge. As such, our horizontal and vertical constraints are relative to different geometry. Please note that by default, the display of these relations is switched off. 